biggest landers, it's Jewel Smith. And today I am Fiona, General of the Minutemen. And with me as always is my ride of choice, Hancock. Today we're going to give you a tour of the castle. This is probably my largest settlement in terms of population. It has 24 people, which is the max because I have a charisma of 14 plus 10, that's your settler limit. My last video I was at Home Plate, which was in Diamond City. I've been following the path that I followed through the game as I played the main storyline. After I went to Diamond City, advanced the, the main story a little bit, did some things with McCready, bought Home Plate, then I made a path to the castle because Preston, oh it says 25, I don't know why it says 25, because Preston was, he had been giving me various settlements to unlock and then he reached a point where he said okay we need to retake the castle. So he was waiting for me here and that's what we did and if you look at the settlement map, that was quite a distance from Hangman's Alley. Hangman's Alley is here, I've done that in a previous video. I think Diamond City is right around here somewhere, right? So it was quite a haul to come all the way across Boston, across the Commonwealth, to get to the castle. I'm not gonna bother doing that. In some of my other videos I will uh, travel from one settlement to another and kind of show you the path, but it's such a long haul for this one. We'll just pick it up right here. Now this stuff here where you come in and you meet Preston for the first time before you retake the castle, this stuff respawns. So you can come here from time to time and pick up some goodies and then approach the castle. And I will show you the outside as I usually do in my videos. It was all demolished of course when you first get there and I'll, I'll try not to give too many spoilers about that for people who haven't played the game or who haven't finished the game. The castle is all messed up. So I've rebuilt these walls here and I rebuilt them using the cement blocks from the wood structures. Now I did that before the uh, workshop added, um, you know, the DLCs, the add-ons added cement structures. So I probably could have redone all of this with cement. Might have been easier. But I, I had already done it. It was, you know, what's done is done, so I just left it. I didn't bother redoing it after I got the cement structures. It works well enough. It's a five-sided fort, like a, like a pentagon shape. I think it is, isn't it? Five-sided? And this location in r the real world, there is actually a fort in Boston. I've never been there. And there's the, uh, now that's a, a water purifier. Mm. It's a very large one. I think it does quite a bit of water. Yeah, it produces 40. That was already there. You just had to repair it. Put some Minutemen statues on the ramparts. I used to have this as an entrance when I first retook the castle, but then I kind of get, because it faces the town, right? There's the Pridwin, which I've never been aboard. I am not enemies with the Brotherhood, but I'm not really friends with them either. I suppose one of these days I'm going to have to uh, to kindly ask them to leave the Commonwealth, and by kindly asking I mean shoot at them. But for now, we have a truce. They haven't done anything really horrible in my game. They haven't tried to kill anybody that I'm friends with. They haven't tried to steal anything or do anything really crazy, as they may do in other storylines. I don't know. I've, I've, heard, I've heard tell that they do some not nice things sometimes. But so far, they've been fine with me, so I'm fine with them. All right, so here's the only entrance to the castle. 
couple of turrets here. Hey, John. And this is the courtyard. You can't clear that rubble. I really wish you could. Of course, you know, since I finished the main storyline, I think about a year and a half of in-game time has gone by. You'd think by now we would have cleared away that rubble. But there's not a way to do that in the game. Hey, Sturgis! If any of you watched my PS4 update video, you'll know that I now have a Sturgis who walks and talks and acts normal again instead of just standing there. Alright, so in here, lots of Minutemen flags, of course. This was the main radio tower, and I sort of built around it. Got a couple of guard posts, Minuteman statue. The bell to call everyone into the courtyard. And, you know, frag grenades, fat men, la missile launchers if you need them. Right there. So this guy, he's the one that you hear on the radio. The radio freedom. There's his bed. Hey Sturgis. I put a power generator in here. The big 100 power generator, so it powers everything in the settlement. Many, many turrets here. I think I have a defense of 222. Yep, there it is. 222, which is not the highest defense. I think Sanctuary's got 242, but this is probably the second highest defense score out of all of the settlements. Little caravan stop, of course. Lucas hanging out there with his guards. Alright, and over here is the workshop. There's one of those weight benches. Adds a little happiness. Alright, let's go up on the ramparts. Take a walk around the upper wall. Just take a look at that first. I suppose I could have planted all of the crops inside the courtyard. But I felt like that would be... I don't know, it just it didn't seem right. Like they would get trampled a lot. You know, you want to use the courtyard for things like maneuvers and target practice and that sort of thing. Ooh, target practice would be cool. Shows a way to put some kind of like a like a range or something in there, gun range. That would be cool. Anyway, uh <laughs> here I am thinking of more things to do with my settlement. Let's build a gun range. But you could put up some posters or something, right? On the walls and have people shoot at them? Well, anyway. Uh, yeah, so I thought putting them up here on the wall made more sense. Plus, they'll, you know, they'll get sunlight, and uh, I guess they're not sheltered from the winds off of the ocean, but... Yeah, I, I just thought that was a decision I made. I thought that the courtyard should be for things like maneuvers and, you know, marksmanship and that sort of thing. Not for the food. So the food's up here. And of course I have my big guns in each corner. I won't give away too much about that, but you do eventually get the ability to build these big artillery guns, and you can build them at all of the settlements. And my, I only have a couple of settlements that have these. I think there's one out at Finch Farm, and there's one out at the Lighthouse. Generally I don't use them. And uh, someday when I give you the tour of the lighthouse and Finch Farm, I'll explain why I built big guns out there. But for now, the rest of the only settlement that uh, that has those has a lot of them is the castle here. I think in theory it'd be kind of cool to put them at all your settlements, and then uh, be able to call in, you know, artillery fire. If you're having a problem defeating an enemy, of course it'd have to be an outdoor enemy. Hey Preston! But by the time I unlocked 
all the settlements and could build these things everywhere. I really didn't need the backup. How you doing, Preston? Hey there. Is there something you need? No, no, we're good. How, How you, feeling? Are you feeling? I'm glad to have the chance to return the favor. After all the help you gave me. Just let me know if there's anything else you need. Okay. No, nothing. Okay. Poor Preston. He's such a sweetheart. And he was the first companion I had in the game. Besides Dogmeat. He and Dogmeat I ran around with early on. And of course, you know, he advanced very quickly to the maximum affinity and wanted to romance me, but I said, sorry, Preston, we're just friends. I had my reasons. I liked Preston a lot, but uh, I just kind of felt like, well, I don't know. I liked my men a little more crooked and a little less handsome, I guess. He, he's just, he's a little too good for me. I can respect that. I like him, but uh, plus I felt like he was just really obsessed with the Minuteman thing and that he cared more about me being general than he cared about me being me, Fiona, the sole survivor trying to find her son and whatnot. So he stayed on the friend ladder. <laughs> anyway, got some Minuteman statues up here. More turrets, more guard towers, more artillery. Yeah, so this is the top of the wall. I've actually been to a fort very similar to this. Uh, I live in the south, and there's a fort called Fort Macon. And this castle reminds me a lot of, of Fort Macon. It's very cool. There's Minuteman flag flying. And it really is just like this, like with no guardrails around the top or anything. You can just fall right off. Got a little fire up here. I like to think at night maybe, you know, folks come up here and look out, watch the scenery, hang out, and talk. I mean, I know in the game they hang out at the bar usually, but I don't know. I just think this would be a cool place to sit at night. Watch the sun go down, right? Alright, let's go down here. Now let's go inside the castle. Oh, and there's a robot up there. I guess I should mention the robot. This is Kahulin. This is the castle robot. Painted a nice Minutemen blue. It helps to guard the castle. All right, so let's go inside. In this little alcove, we have the general store. Some teacups and watches for sale there. Hello. Shiny coffee pots. Now having so many people living here, I really have to squeeze beds in everywhere I can. Um, there's actually an underground area to this. It's not part of the settlement. You can't go into the tunnels and build things. But there are tunnels underneath and rooms underneath the castle. And I think in, if this were real life, that's where the barracks would be and, and the armory and things like that would be underneath the castle. But since I can't actually build things underneath the castle, I have to squeeze everything in up here. So let's take a let's hang a right. Put in a bathroom here. Filthy tub. What a filthy tub. It wouldn't be like that in real life. It'd be shiny and clean like this stuff. But that's just the way it looks when you uh, put it in. It's got some kind of weird graphic thing. See that? Like if I move it. Oh, see, it looks clean. Well, cleanish. But, uh, yeah, it looks, looks dirty right there, but oh well. More beds. And these are the standard Minutemen beds that I use in all of my settlements. Or most of my settlements that have Minutemen for guards. The guards in my, a lot of my settlements I put in Minutemen um, uniforms. And then I make a little Minuteman barracks 
where they will have these little cots and uh, little foot lockers. Military issue, right? So this was the main barracks room when I first unlocked the castle. This is where everybody slept and then I had to start spreading out into the hallways. But uh, this is where I put most of the beds in the beginning of the castle's existence. Of course everybody's got little goodies in their foot lockers. And a little table that they can gather around and talk, eat, play poker, do whatever they do. Alright. Uh, let's continue on. More beds back here. Because with 24 settlers, there need to be a lot of beds. And then, well, the, if you go out here, this just goes back up to the top of the wall there. Alright, so let's come back this way. We saw the general store. And then here's the clothing and barber. And a clothing shop and a salon. Now these uh, countertops and the salon stuff, that came in recently. The countertops came in with the recent update that I did another video about and the barber chair and a few other things like that came in with the vault tech workshop add-on. So those were recent additions to the castle. I think I mentioned in another one of my videos that I wasn't going to redo the castle with the countertops. I had the old style wooden emporiums but then I realized these countertops really take up a lot less room. You can put that in and then put beds behind it. So I, uh, I did go ahead and redo things. Yeah. So there's her little shop. You can't place items. I mean you can if you do it manually, but you can't go into workshop and place items inside. I had to pick up and place every one of those you know, myself while not in workshop mode to get them to go in there. Hey Sturgis! He's my scavenger because he's kind of the tinker guy, right? The handyman. What's going on? Hey, not much. How you doing, baby? John's right there. Look at right. No, no. He's telling me no. Stop looking. You got me, babe. Yeah, I know. So let's see. Is Sturgis's footlocker, Sturgis's toolbox. And all of his scavenged goodies. Alright, restricted area. Unauthorized persons keep out. It's because this is my bedroom. Nobody's allowed in but me and John and whoever I invite for a meeting. See, so we have a little meeting table here. So I can talk to Ronnie and Preston and whoever I need to have meetings with. Now this little hallway goes down into those tunnels that I mentioned that I can't build in. The castle tunnels. Alright, so there's the actual Minutemen General's outfit. I, you know, I would wear it except that it just, you can't put ballistic weave into it and so it doesn't have a very high armor rating. But uh, I, I like to put it on for special occasions, you know. Like when I got married to McCready in my head cannon, I imagine that I wore that. And yes, I was married to McCready. Maybe I still am, I don't know. But uh, I, I'm with Hancock, McCready's with Kate. You can watch my Taffington Boathouse video if you want to know more about that. So here we've got Light of Liberty. I think that's, is that the first musket I get from Preston? I think that is. And then Max. Max is a gun that I used for a while in the game earlier before I got better weapons. Uh, this is a prototype, Limitless Potential 
Uh, I think you can find this. Oh, I can't. Oh, I want to say University Point, maybe. I can't remember exactly where I got it. But uh, I think, if I remember correctly, I don't want to take it off the wall and have to put it back. But if I remember correctly, Limitless Potential. It's uh like it never runs out of ammo, or you never have to reload something like that. But reload speed doesn't really matter to me at this point in the game. I think I've got some perks that make it go pretty quick. Anyway. I love that glowing purple captain's blend. That's from Far Harbor. There's our bed. Great Mentats, as always. Hancock's favorite candy. I like to imagine that they're like grape Tic Tacs. Alright, a little bathroom over here. And I built this screen. My daughter was quite impressed with that. She said, Mom, that looks like something from a computer mod. But I built it using paintings and these metal struts from the warehouse structures. It was a little bit tricky. Oh, somebody made a comment. and I'm sorry, I can't see the comments. I'll see them as soon as I go offline. And I will reply yeah, so there's a little screen to hide the tub. And that's my bedroom. The general's quarters in the castle. So let's continue on. This is the medical center. At the clinic stand. I don't know where the doctor went. I've got a doctor assigned here somewhere. She's probably off drinking soda. They do that. She's got some stuff. Uh-oh, a dick doll. Does Doctor have a secret? There's the chem station. More medical center stuff. Got the uh, decontamination arch in here, which is very handy. The faux raptor, which adds happiness. Doesn't really do anything yes. else, I, I guess, but it adds happiness. Hi there. And he, he is the faux raptor opter opterator? Operator? <laughs> Foropterator? That's what we can call him. Foropterator. There's another toilet. Because with 24 people, you know you can't have enough bathrooms. Let's be honest. That goes up to the top of the wall. Oh, hello. I think that's the doctor there. If you need fixing up, yeah. let's get a look at you. No, I'm good. Put in some drinking fountains. Alright, and then this is the cafeteria. Farm's not much. Hi there! I thought about putting a chef's hat on him. Like the chef in South Park. Hello, settlers! But I didn't. He's got the Minuteman hat on. Now I redid this area a little bit when I got the vault Tech stuff recently. So now we have a soda machine. And the settlers like to go in and use that soda machine. So they, they often leave their jobs and wander in here and drink soda. That's fine. Oh, how you doing? What happened? There were goodies work? in the counter. Yeah. It's as simple as that. Oh, looks like somebody was messing with my pantry a little bit here. Alright, so we got a stove and a nice little cafeteria area back here. I had candy and Nuka Cola and stuff in here, but it looks like it's gone. I wonder if they either they either took it or maybe it fell through. I have a problem in this game with items falling through. Like that. Those bottles, like the vodka and stuff, are supposed to be up there on that shelf. But things fall through. Oh, dirty trays, dirty cups. Go here. Alright, so that's the cafeteria. And everybody comes in here. I see she's coming to get a soda. Everybody comes in here in the evenings and in the mornings. It's kind of fun. That it gets very hurts. crowded. Feet hurt. Everything hurts. With 24 or so people crowded in here trying to eat. Alright, so that's the inside of that wing. Oh, and here are more toilets, outhouses. Oh, hello. Sorry. Didn't know it was occupied. 
There was somebody there, and then they disappeared. They're even lighted. How nice of me. In case they need to go in the dark. Oh, who was that? Was that Preston? Yes. Oh, no, it was that lady. Alright, so over here is the armory wing. And I've been building power suits, power armor for the Minutemen. It's hard for me to find T45 anymore because I'm such a high level. I'm level 116. And so it doesn't randomly... Well, I mean, I've already, I think I've already found like all the possible power armors you can find. So now I have to just buy the power armor pieces. I think Rowdy sells T45 sometimes. She'll have a random assortment of T45. And then I recently found some T45 um, in the Gunner Camp. Oh, it's across the river from the Iron Works out near the Slog. There's some gunners out there, and they have a suit of power armor. And when I killed the guy, it turned out it was T45. So I got some more T45 pieces off of him. Because T45 is the only one you can put the Minuteman paint job on. Like, I think T-50, you can put the railroad paint job on that one. But you can't put the Minuteman paint job on any of the others. So it has to be T-45 to be Minuteman power armor. And then I max it out. Not that it matters. I mean, honestly, what are they going to do with it? At this point, nobody ever wears it. But it's, you know, T-45F. And I put in all the little tricks and mods for it. I got a couple more in here. Because, you know, I figure, at least in, in my mind, right, if the Brotherhood of Steel decides to get snippy with us, then we're going to need all the power armor we can get, right? So let's come in here, and here's the armory. That should be, uh, yeah, some pieces of armor. I like to get my Minutemen in as much combat armor as possible. That's the Lorenzo's Artifact gun. That's from the Cabot House. And again, I don't want to give too many spoilers, so I won't talk too much about that, but... I, uh, I've stored some of my unusual weaponry in here where it's nice and safe. If I leave it in my settlements, my settlers will go and steal it, or borrow it, or use it. Uh, I, I kept finding things were missing, and then I would check my settlers' inventories, and I would find that they had my goodies. So I started storing things here at the castle instead of in my settlements. There's the explosives box. Lots of boom booms in there. I think that's Ronnie's bed. I don't know if she's assigned to it, but that's another suit of power armor. And some nice weapons back here. The last minute. I have no idea where I got that. Is that a Gauss rifle? I have no idea where that came from. Six crank laser musket. I don't use the Gauss rifles in the game. For a while, I think McCready had one when he was running around with me. Hey Ronnie, how you doing? And uh, that was a legendary, I think? Never ending auto plasma rifle. Yeah, it's another one like the one that's in my quarters where it uh, you don't have to reload it doesn't run out of ammo or something like that. But yeah, so McCready had a Gauss rifle for a while. The thing was as big as he was. Poor guy. Uh, he didn't seem to be very accurate with it, so I switched him back to his regular weapon. And Hancock was using some uh, revolvers that shot fiery and exploding bullets for a while, but now he's got some kind of some kind of rifle that he likes to use. Anyway, here's one that's in progress. I need to find a helmet for that finish it off. I have several more suits in progress, uh, Minuteman suits, out at Starlight. And uh, in my previous Starlight video, you'll see my whole power armor collection. I have a big like airplane hanger kind of size thing full of power armor stuff out there at Starlight. I've already done that, that settlement tour. Got some stuff over here. The big boy. Fat man shooting mini nukes. High powered shredding minigun. I wish I could put more armor stands down, or not armor stands, the uh, the big weapon stands down here. But they wouldn't go in. In workshop mode, I couldn't get them to go in there. So it's just some missiles and mini nukes. And I put this thing 
Ugh. That thing gives me the willies. I didn't want to keep it in my settlements and I didn't want to leave it out anywhere. Again, I don't want to give spoilers, so I won't tell you where I found that or what it is or what was involved, but if you want to go and Google it, you go right ahead. But that's where we keep it, under lock and key in the back corner of the castle. Alright, so oh, here's another big gun stand. Quad barrel missile launcher. Workbenches. Oops, sounds like a storm were brewing outside. Good thing I got most of this tour done while it was still sunny, right? Oh, all the different mines. Lots of ammo. Alright, so that's the armory. And I built the castle up. Uh, a lot of the settlements, when I would unlock them, I, I kind of built them gradually throughout the course of the game as I was playing and doing the storyline and doing the side quests and all of that. But the castle I built up very quickly, very early on. I sent as many people as I could send out there. I gave them all, you know, I tried to unlock the, the high-end ballistic weave. Oh, now it's getting dark so you can see it at night. Uh, I gave everybody ballistic weave Minutemen outfits. It took a lot of work. I don't know if I'd call it grinding exactly, but it took a lot of going around and trying to buy the Minutemen outfits from the clothing vendors and trying to find hats and, you know, getting everybody outfitted, getting combat armor by killing lots and lots of gunners, and building up the defenses here, putting in all the turrets, you know, because I knew that at some point this place was going to be important. I ended up doing the Minutemen ending of the main story, and so there was, I guess, you know, it's probably not a stretch for me to say it, there was a huge battle here, and I won't tell you any more about it than that, but it was probably the most fun that I ever had playing a video game in my life. I loved the battle with the castle. And I had Preston here, and I had McCready here, and I had Hancock, and that was before I had romanced Hancock but he was my best friend. I, I just, I've always thought he was just the coolest, coolest school in the Commonwealth. And uh, so I would often take him with me places, like have him assigned to settlements I was working on. So he would be hanging out there with me and McCready. And then eventually, eventually McCready was no longer part of that equation. But uh, yeah, so Hancock was here and I gave him the broadsider, which is the handheld cannon. And he was running around with that, and McCready was running around, and Preston and I, and we were just having a big old battle. It was so much fun. So, so yeah. It was a hoot. And the castle is here now, protecting the Commonwealth. Oh, hello. Alright, so I guess that's the castle tour. I think my next video I'm going to head out to Warwick because if I remember correctly I swam out to Warwick. I think it's out in that general direction. Oh, right out there maybe. I swam out to Warwick and unlocked that one since it was just right across the water. So I think I will tour Warwick Homestead in my next video. Thanks for hanging out with me. I appreciate it. If you have any questions, comments, feel free to leave them on YouTube. I'm also on Tumblr. I've got a blog. Uh, I think on my About Me page on YouTube, there's links to all of that. I'm on Twitter and whatnot. And uh, if you're enjoying these, please like and subscribe. And I will see you next time. Bye!